Hello and welcome to this clip having a look at how electrical conductivity can be related to structure through an unstructured five mark exam question. So it talks about bromine and mercury and gives you some data to do with each one. And then it says bromine and mercury react together to form mercury to bromide. So then it says describe and explain how electrical conductivity occurs in mercury to bromide and mercury in both solid and molten states. So although they're talking about two substances, each substance has to be dealt with in two separate physical states. So there's actually four things to talk about. So the first thing to do is to identify the command words. So describe means state in words, and explain means give reasons for. So quite often these two will be together in a question like this, so you need to state in words something and then give reasons for it afterwards. So now let's look at the conductivity occurring in mercury to bromide and mercury in both solid and molten states. The four different things to talk about are mercury bromide in solid form, mercury bromide in liquid form, mercury as a, as a solid metal, and mercury as a liquid metal. So to do this, you need to think about the structures and the lattices that are involved. So in HgBr2 solid, it's solid ionic lattice, then molten ionic lattice. So no, it's no longer a lattice as such in molten form, obviously, so it's called molten, molten ionic. A giant metallic lattice is what's taking place in solid mercury, like any other metal in solid form. Then you have a look at the table. So you need to be a little bit careful there's some data here that you don't really need. Because you're just talking about electrical conductivity, they don't mention melting point or boiling point, so try not to get distracted by the extra information the table gives you. So let's think about how to structure the answer. So I put all four different things down and try and say something using keywords but not overdoing it on the writing. So how do we do this? Well, you can focus on things like giant ionic lattice, ions fixed in position, so therefore you can say no electrical conductivity. For liquid mercury to bromide, this time the ions are mobile, so they can carry charge and therefore conduct electricity effectively. You treat solid mercury like any other solid metal, it contains delocalized electrons that act as charge carriers. So the lattice is a giant metallic structure, and the electrons that are delocalized can move and therefore carry charge. Finally, in liquid mercury, the delocalized electrons are still there, so therefore they can move and carry charge like before. So let's check all this against the mark scheme. So taking our answer from the previous slide, Looking at the marking points, we've got the first three and we've got marks four and five. So let's have a look at where in our answer we scored each mark. In the first two sentences, we managed to get the first three marks because we've said it conducts when molten, but not when solid, because we've linked conducting electricity to liquid, HgBr2, and not conducting electricity to solid Br2, HgBr2. Ions are mobile and molten HgBr2, we've got that there. Fixed in a lattice, so ionic lattice has ions fixed in position. So you can see how the wording we've put matches what the mark scheme wants from us. So looking at the fourth and fifth marks, mercury conducts in both the solid and the molten states, so that's my solid and molten states there. So delocalized electrons can move and carry charge, and therefore delocalized electrons can move and carry charge there as well. So then it says delocalized electrons move, it's got them there. So the charge carrying uh, can be used uh, to say that it actually conducts. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope this has been useful. Until next time, see you soon.